How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you another absolute banger of a platinum. Today, we've got another one from Sometimes You called Cat's Request. Shout out to them for getting me a code for the game. And you're looking at 10 bucks with 8 total stacks. This is a fun little detective point-and-click adventure game. You play as Ash, an extraterrestrial cat, alongside your trusty virtual assistant, Root, as you try to unravel the mystery of a computer virus that's threatening all sentient programs in this cyberpunk-style metropolis. I'll be doing a full commentary walkthrough for this, so just follow along with me and you'll get the Platinum no problem in about a half hour to 45 minutes. So the very first thing you want to do is press square once to toggle the sprint mode on. You'll thank me for that later. And keep going through the dialogue until you wake up. Once you're awake, interact with the TV then interact with the remote a few times, and eventually you'll get the Movie Goer trophy to pop. Pick up the Apple Core, move to your right, and open the bottom drawer for a coin. Open your inventory with Triangle and put the Apple Core into this machine. And pick the Apple up. Then exit to your left, Head left onto the elevator and you'll exit down onto the street. Head left, talk to this butler looking guy, finish his dialogue and you'll get the lousy pie trophy. Interact with this street sweeper robot. Head left and interact with this hologram thing, that's your taxi, and go to the dump. Once you're here, head right. You'll go past this teleporter door and you'll find this robot in the background. Interact with the flexible wires on its head. Then head back left. And interact with the taxi again. This time going to the street near the cafe. Head left, and go inside this blue door to enter the cafe. Interact with this glass case, and you'll pick that up. Then interact with the bartender, and he'll give you a job to pick up five pieces of trash. Interact with this cat lady. And you'll get a sound recording device. Interact with the bartender again to get paid and get the employee of the year trophy, as well as having to pick up more trash. You're going to have to do this eight total times. We need to get to $4,000. Once you've got your 4,000 credits, you can exit back to the left. Head to the right. And enter this building with a green awning. Interact with this photo on top of the trash can. Then interact with the rope and this astronaut helmet. This is where you want to make a save, the only save you'll have to make.
and open your inventory, pick the flexible wires, and sell it to the shop robot for the need money trophy. Exit left to back out onto the street. And you'll get the too sad trophy to pop. This is where you want to reload your save, so head back to the main menu. And load that game back up. Exit back outside and buy every piece of food from this vendor. Hit L2 to use Root and interact with this rat thing to get the IC Monsters trophy. Then open your inventory, use the glass of water, and use it on these plants to get the Caring Trophy. You can buy another one. Do that again and you'll max out your mental health bar and get the In a Healthy Body, a Healthy Mind Trophy. And exit right back onto the first street you saw. Head right back towards the butler looking vendor. Interact with this gold hologram thing. And using the keypad, if this is a phone screen, use three, five, seven, eight, one, nine, and then call. Then open your inventory and use the flexible wires on the street sweeping robot for the Kind Magician trophy. Then open your inventory again, take the apple and use it on yourself for the Better Than Nothing trophy. Head to the right and use this vending machine until you get the water glass for the Luck is Fickle trophy. Head left and enter into this red building. Talk to the android behind the counter. Head to the right, open your inventory and use the napkin on this keypad. Brute will open the door for you, so head inside. Head to your right. Talk to this cat lady. She'll leave. Then you want to use your universal key and interact with this robot. You'll get a card from him. Then interact with these symbols. They'll automatically change to what you need them to be. To remove the force field. Press L2 to go back to root. Interact with the left icon. Then interact with the right icon to go into her consciousness. Head to the right. Interact with the short clock hand the red hat, and the long clock hand. Head back to the left, open your inventory, and put the two clock hands onto the clock face. Head right, open your inventory, and put the red hat on the cat girl. Head back to the left, pick the mirror up out of the mirror, and head left to exit. Interact with the lock symbol again. Press L2 to switch back to Ash and exit left.
Exit left again. Back onto the street. Head right. Interact with the taxi icon. And head to the street near the clinic. Head left. And enter this building between the two greenish blue holograms. Head left. And interact with the flash drives to buy one. Head left and interact with this mouse girl. Press L2 to get root out. And press L2 to go back to ash. Open your inventory and use the flash drive on route to get the reliable assistant trophy. Head inside that room behind you. Interact with this data pad on the couch. Interact with that lady from before. Head right. And you want this code to be up, down, down on the left side. Then interact with this dial a few times until the light turns blue. Come over to this side and interact with this dial until it turns blue. Then interact with these buttons. You want to press the second and fourth buttons. And then interact with the control panel to the right. Talk to this mouse girl. Press L2 to bring out Root. And go into her consciousness. Head right. And you want to grab this black knight. Head back left. Open your inventory and put the Black Knight on the bottom right space. Pick up the White King that spawns. Head to the right and put the White King onto this chessboard. And pick it back up once it's a Black King. And head left. and exit. Press the lock button to get some more information. Switch back to Ash and exit left. Head right and talk to the seller behind the counter. Then head right and exit back onto the street. Head to the building next door and pick the top button to head to the fourth floor. Open up your inventory and use any food items you have to get your bar back to full. That's in the top right and go to the door directly to your left with the square and triangle interacting with the intercom to the left talk to the bunny man and press L2 to use root and go into his consciousness you'll get the depths of subconsciousness trophy interact with the cloth on top of the clock and continue interacting with the clock face until this candle lights up then interact with the candle to pick it up. Head to the right and use the candle you just got on this star on a pole thing. Interact with that to pick it up. 
and exit left. Switch back to Ash. Open your inventory and pick the card with him on it and use it on him. And exit back down through the elevator. Pick the middle button this time to head to the third floor. And go to the first door on your right using the intercom again. Press L2 to take out Root and go into this raccoon guy's subconscious. Pick up the red X immediately to your right. The X on the clock face. Head right, interact with the X in the glass in the background. Interact with the large red X. Head right some more. Interact with the X ninja star thing in the ground. Keep heading right, pick up the large ghostly X, and pick up the red X that's stuck in the ground. Keep heading right, to pick up another red X stuck in the ground. Then head back left. Open your inventory, and use all of those X's you just picked up on this terminal. Once it says the X anomaly is found, you can head left and exit. Use the lock symbol to the right of the raccoon to get the mind lock key. Switch back to Ash and use the card that you have with the raccoon on it with him. Open up your phone, you can find that in the top left, and use 4, 6, 5, 8, 7, 9, and call. You'll talk to a bear, then exit down through the elevator. Head to the right, open up your inventory, and use your universal key on this red locked door, and enter inside. Head right, and interact with the ladder to pick it up, then open your inventory with triangle, use the rope on this manhole cover. Open your inventory again, and use the ladder on the open manhole cover to get the hero trophy. And you can exit back left. Head left and press the bottom button to go to the second floor of this building. This is where you want to use any food items that you have to get your bar back to full. Once your bar is full, head all the way to the leftmost door and use the intercom to the left. Talk to the girl you just saved. Take Root out. And go into her subconscious.
interact with the bitten chocolate rabbit to your right. Keep heading right and interact with the blue bird. The green rooster. The orange bear. And the purple troll. Head back left and find this glass teacup. Putting all the stuff you just picked up into it to restore them back to their full form. Then pick up the key that spawns and head left to exit. Switch back to Ash and exit down through the elevator. right, interacting with the taxi, and head back to the dump. Head to the right, so you get to the shaman looking robot and use the universal key on this orb thing on his left side. Head back to the left, interact with the taxi, and go to the street near the house. right get to the vending machine and just pick up some more food to replenish what you used before continue heading right and you'll enter the elevator head right and interact with the door to go back into your house head to the right side and use that orb you just picked up on the table. You'll get the Jack of All Trades trophy. Pick the core back up. And exit back left. Exit left onto the elevator. left, interact with the taxi, and go back to the dump. Head to the right. And you want to use the fixed orb back where you got it. And you want to go to the green plant planet. Open your inventory and use the sound recorder on this harp looking thing. Head right, pick up this broken egg, continue heading right, take out your sound recorder again and use it on this harp plant. Head back left and exit down. Head right. Head 
head all the way to the right and use this pastry with dubious content on this beaked looking plant thing and you'll get the almost omnivorous trophy and pick up the antique locket that it drops once it's out of the way you can exit right Head right and use the sound recorder on this cat statue in the background. Head right some more and use the sound recorder on these horn plant things. And you'll get the mysterious sounds trophy. Continue heading right and pick up this crown for the crown of the underwater kingdom trophy. Continue heading right and use the sound recorder on this cat statue. Keep heading right and eventually exit right. Head all the way right. And talk to the largest of the three jellyfish. And you'll get a teleportation cube, which you can now use in the top left of the screen. Open that up and teleport back to the dump. Head to the right all the way to the teleportation door thing. Head to the right a little bit, and you want to keep interacting with the satellites as they go by until you get a charged battery. You can open up your teleportation cube and teleport home. Head to the left and use the charged batteries on the machine by the door. Open your inventory and use the photo in the machine. Interact with it to pick it back up. Head back into your inventory and use the food that you got from under the glass case. Pick that up. Then put the broken egg in. Pick that up and you'll get the Master of Transformation trophy. Then open your teleportation cube and head to the pawn shop. Head to the right and use the old photo with the pawn shop owner. You get the detective trophy. Use your teleportation cube again, and this time go to Lost Civilization. Head to the right, and you'll find these three tubes with buttons on them. You want to press the bottom and the second from the top button on the left hand tube. Interact with the cat on the left side of this little raid space to get an amethyst orb. Then push the middle button on the middle tube and the bottom and middle buttons on the right hand tube 
Then interact with the cat on the right side to get a green orb. Put the antique locket on the dais between the two cats. And then put the three colored orbs you have inside of it. Pick up the ancient manuscript and then teleport to the street near the clinic. Head to the right and enter this building. Head to the right and use the ancient manuscript on the lady behind the counter. Then open your inventory back up and use the restored fruit from the dish on her. And you'll get the lost recipe trophy. From there, teleport back to the street near the cafe. Head to the left, go inside the cafe, and use the recipe that you just got on the bartender. Head to the right and talk to the left of these two twins. Then take out Root and go inside the consciousness of the right-hand twin. Head to the right. Pick up the short key underneath this birdcage. Interact with the mask inside of this birdcage to get the long key. Head left and put the two keys on this clock face. And you'll get a pair of scissors. Head to the right and use that pair of scissors on this wig. Pick up the red wig. Head to the right and put the red wig inside this circle spot on this triangle shape, whatever it is. Pick up the photo that it gives you and exit left. Go ahead and switch back to Ash. Open your inventory and use the chick on the left twin. Then use the sound recording device on the lady to the right of the sound machine that you got it from. Then head all the way to the right, talk to the bear, then take out Root and go into his consciousness. Take the cog wheel out of the clock face to your right, head right. Take the cog wheel out of the vending machine past the stand. Take the plastic straw out of the glass. Open the panel beneath the glass and use the pink straw on the wires. Use the cog wheels on the space to the left of the wires. Then take the glowing light bulb from the left side of the stand and exit left. Use the locked symbol on the bear to get part of the city mind lock key. And then teleport to the server street. Head left, and use this force field to pull up a keypad, and use 5, 6, 8, 9, 7, 4, and that will enter you into the server room. Use root, 
Use the light bulb that you just got on the first machine. Use the photo on the second machine. Use the key on the third machine's top slot. Use the star on the third machine's bottom slot. Use the black king on the fourth machine's top slot. Use the mirror on the fourth machine's bottom slot. And use the X on the fifth machine slot, and you'll get the Diplomat Trophy. Switch back to Ash, and exit left. Use the Raccoon's card on this control panel. And that popped the final trophy for me, but if it doesn't, you have to pick the mouse girl on the top right, as that's the true end of the game. But the platinum should unlock around here. So there you have it. Not too bad for a point and click adventure game. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment down below which number platinum this was for you, and subscribe to the channel for more trophy hunting content.